Good evening, or welcome back. And look, a dungeon, right here on the starting island. Now I suppose it does really stand to reason, since over there is a dirty great sign saying area, starting island. But how many of us have walked past that sign hundreds of times and just taken no notice of it? Probably most of us. However, before I go down there, I'm going to have to go and re-equip myself. I think my armour's about to run out completely. Yes, that's not very good, is it? And my sword's about to go as well. So, whilst I do that, why don't you take a look at how the dungeon became uncovered. And I'll meet you back here in but a moment. Well, it's creepers that I've got to thank for my good fortune. I was originally going to start this video by clearing out this last part of the starting island whilst deciding where to go to next. Now, the first creeper I came across was just here, who dropped in on me. There he is. But he's not the one I have to thank. Because he just exploded there and left a nice hole. Second creeper I came across comes over from my right just as I'm having a bit of breakfast. But he's not the one that I've got to thank either. Because I was able to defeat him, albeit very poorly. No, it's the creeper that I'm about to meet. And it's really a result of my ineptitude with a sword against creepers that's caused it. Whilst I was running back, I stepped back too far, couldn't reach him, and then... Thank you very much, Mr. Creeper. That'll do nicely. Now this has got to be the third or fourth time that a creeper has helped me out by exploding. So it just goes to show that they're not all bad guys. Okay, well that took a little longer than I intended. But I couldn't remember whether or not I'd reset my spawn after getting back from the ghost. So I thought I'd better do it again just to be on the safe side there's no point tempting fate because I'm on quite a good run at the moment although that's probably not the right thing to say there so what are we going to have down here I have noticed lots of places to fall into and I suppose I better be wary of extra mobs due to all the lighting that I've got up above. Talking of lighting. However, all I hear at the moment is the rattle of bones. So, am I about to walk into an area that's infested with skeletons? Sounds very likely, doesn't it? Ah! Oh, there's a creeper there as well. Now that surprised me. I didn't expect the bird cage to be as close to the entrance as this. Alright, so. What? Okay, there is skeletons. So is that, I can't properly tell from here, whoa, I felt that, so where, 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 oh okay, there's a little ledge there, alright, um, 
that's it. Good boy. Better make... Whoa! I say. That doesn't look safe there. There we are. Ooh, what's that? Um... Okay. And so... Is it going to be the same the other side? Yee, the other side as well. Alright, let me make this land in a little safer so I don't get knocked off. So, I'll just hide behind the vines here for a moment because they can't see me. So, I've got to run the gauntlet of skeletons either side and a creeper at the other end. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be very, very lazy at this. Not really in the mood to battle a load of skellies. So, I'm going to go and get my... I'm going to go and get my piston. And, you know what? I'm going to go across in exactly the same way as I did at the ghost. Yeah, I think that will be most simple. That'll be the simplest. So I'll just finish off a little wall here. And they won't be able to get me. At all. Yeah. They can fight it out amongst themselves. Mind you. You could make a hell of a skeleton grinder down here, couldn't you? I mean, imagine if I'd have discovered this place early on in the game... Right, I'll be back in a moment with said piston. Okay, very, very nearly there, I think. I hope it'll be long enough. I guess I won't know for sure until I actually get in there and have a look. Oh, steady. Come on. Should be about it. Yep. Okay then. Right, that's good. I don't think I need to make the right hand one any higher. Because that ledge is lower. Oh, I do, because I forget they can jump up. Alright. Oh, and you might be able to do the same. So if I do that on this side as well. Bit of luck, that might cause quite a lot of in quite a lot of in fighting so they'll get rid of themselves. Oh yeah, definitely better cover that up. Alright. Can't get any higher, can you? Oh, just to be sure. Just to make sure. Got more good. Alright, I haven't got as far as I would have hoped. Can I? Yes, I can. Good. Alright. Um, yes. Right. Oh, hello, you. Okay, hold on, I'll come to you in a second. Um, thank you very much. I'll better get that filled in rather quickly. There we are then. Right, that's the way I like it. Super. Right, which one are you then? Oh! Oh, right, okay. Um, 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 right, have that, hold on. There we are, just to be safe. Cheeky! Very, very cheeky. Uh, right, what was I saying? Yes, which one's this? Thirteen! Ah! Right, that makes a little sense then. Tell you why... Because I was watching, I was watching Foot's playthroughs the other night, and in, in episode four, 
it was listed as him getting his first disc, disc 13. And as he was still mucking about on the starting island, I was wondering where where he got it from. So, right, that does make sense. Now, I suppose I ought to go and see what's through there, just in case there's anything else hidden in there. Um, can I get you boys by your feet, please, if you don't mind? No, over here. That's it. And, and your friend. And you. Come on. Play the game. Or go and fall off the edge or something. Come back here, you little monster. Oh, you pig-headed skeleton. Right. Yes, there's spawners out there. Um... Can I deal with them? Of course I can. Get rid of them out here and then quickly run out and hopefully I can Hopefully I can get them. They must be on the same level as this. Because otherwise they wouldn't be able to, would they? Come on, you wouldn't be able to get over here. Sword, please. So, where are you? Just around the corner? Just around the corner. Yep. Yeah. Ah! Just behind me. And now we can't see, can't see me. Right. Stop that. Oh! Another one over there. Okay. Alright, sorry, I didn't see that one over there. And looks like there's more. Looks like there's more to my left as well. Oh, okay. Alright, calm down, boys, calm down. Okay, go away. So, are you look over here guarding something? Yes. Okay, I'll put up another wall. It's the easiest way. Save an awful lot of messing around. Right, what have we got over here then? Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. I can see how oh, this would be an incredible find in the early in the early part of the game. Oh, for sure. Give you a tremendous advantage. Ah. Uh, that would have been most useful if I had found this area early on. Still, I didn't, so never mind. But there is a nice lot of stone here, which I may well come back and collect. And it will save me having to go back into the nether again to collect the stone. So that's good. Oh well, very very happy with that. I just hope that I'm not ambushed on my way out of here. So, I better get this disc to the safety of the JBM. Actually, I better take blocks up there as well, because I haven't done that yet. And then I better finish off trying to sort this island out. So, see you back here in a few minutes. Of 
I shall enchant this new gear whilst I listen to blocks. I like this tune. Not so keen on this one, so I'll just put these spare discs away and then I'll cut it short. Okay. Well, I think it's coming up to night time, so I'm not going to... Oh, thank you very much. I'm not going to bother sorting that area out. I'd rather have a full day of light to do it. Oh, yes, it is coming up night time. So I think I'll just do a little tour of the island and then go and get myself ready for the next area. And besides which, it's not going to be the Enterprise over there anyway or is it the Magma Citadel I think is its correct name yeah look at it doesn't it look nice come on Skelly in the flames I said in the flames no you're not going to come and play Zombie's going to walk straight into the flames isn't he why don't you follow his example Hey. Alright, don't then. And I've still got a few little areas down here which need a bit of light, but don't think I need to concern myself with those at the moment. I'm not going to be coming over here, which is the Mountains of Blood and the Christmas Tree. Actually, I'm going to leave the Christmas tree till last. My odd way of thinking says that Christmas comes at the end of the year. Therefore, the Christmas tree should come at the end of the game. So, that only leaves the one area, which is the land of the snow golem. And that's where I'm going to go to next. Now, I need to finish off this little dark area here. I need to repair the wall. In fact, I will probably replace the dirt with cobble or something. I've just got into my head that by keeping a... Oh, thanks. Oh, that's better. By keeping uh, one area in the dark, giving the guys somewhere to spawn will stop them popping up in other odd places. It seems to have worked, because I didn't really have that much trouble when I was clearing all this lot. Most of which I did whilst I was waiting for the tree to burn down. And I do honestly think that that, combined with my mob trap up there, was very beneficial. need to get all this lot a little bit smoother down. Whoa! Oh, this is definitely a good time to call it a night, isn't it? So, the land of the snow golem. 
And that looks a relatively easy path down. So I shouldn't have any trouble making a nice safe stairway from the area marker up to here. It's fairly well lit already. I mean, I'm still going to run into the odd guy here and there, but not really that much. Nice. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I do like that. So, yeah, my order of play will be the area of the snow golem. Then I'll go over to the Enterprise. Then the Mountains of Blood. And then the Christmas tree. One thing puzzling me, though, I've got five music discs left to collect, but only four areas to go to. So unless one of them has got another area at the back of it, there's either one area with two discs in, or... I've missed something in the nether, but I guess time will tell on that one. I finally stopped the spiders dropping on my head as I left the front door. Thank you, Cacti. I need to get some more bricks up this column here. I'm also wondering whether I shouldn't come up with a way of shutting the damn thing off, because just goes absolutely nuts. It just sort of like doesn't stop. And when I've got... I mean, that's just absolutely full of stuff. I keep some stone swords in here just to use them up. But look, it's mad. And I know it's not the most... It's probably not the most efficient. And there's probably tons of better ways of doing it, but... It has worked. Only thing that's a little bit of a nuisance is that I have to sort of manually open the, open these to let all the goodies down. But I think that's me being lazy more than anything. It wouldn't take too much to redstone it up, but let's say that's just me being bone idle. In absolutely no time, you know, I mean, look, I'm up to, I'm up to level 6, nearly level 7. Probably a few have dropped down here as well. Yeah, you see, that's absolutely mad. That is a storm, isn't it? My word. Stop it. Cheeky. The other mad thing is that I'm still able to use the bed despite them all gathering just over there, which I find very odd. So, oh, my little food area in here, pool for fish. So, I'm not really worried about moving it all outside. I've kept this very simple in here. Virtually every time I come back, I just do a little bit more, a little bit more on the brickwork. Ruin room in here. And the ever so interesting cobble room here. Again, there's probably far better and far more efficient designs, but I like this one simply because I can't hit anything other than the block that I'm intending to hit. I can't accidentally hit that one up there to let all the lava out. I can hit that one and that one, but you're not aiming at those. And it's, well, I don't know, I'd say it's 60-70% efficient. But God, isn't cobblestone farming boring? It really is. I should have thought, actually, I could have automated it. Thinking on it, I've got the pistons. I could have made it an automatic one, but it is done now. Everything's all pretty well 
all pretty well organized in here. So yeah, not the most glamorous, but it's it's practical. Practical, safe and dry. So I think I better let the storm do its thing. And I'll get myself ready for the snow golem. And start the next episode at the area marker. So, I'll get my head down. Good night.